oh, I just stay away from that look altogether. It's 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 a bad one. It's a bad one. Those fitted boucle jackets. Logo mania. Uh, logo overload. Number two. This really makes me cringe. And with heels, oh. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. Really quite excited about today's video. Um, it's five things that really date your outfits. And I feel like this might be a little bit controversial. I feel like these kind of slight mistake ones can be a little bit controversial, but uh, my advice is to not read too much into it. Trends come and go um, and styles come and go. So what I say here, may have completely changed in five years time but i think for current times these particular five things i think are kind of styles and pieces that really date your look and the thing about these is that they're very simple fixes so it's not like you have to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe to update your look so hopefully this will be useful for you i do apologize if you can hear any external noise there is a building work going on and it's just so happened to start right when i'm filming this video um and i can't really do it any other time the building work is going to continue all day long anyway and all this week so there's no point rescheduling this video so i apologize if you can hear it hopefully you can't so this video is part of my lessons with lydia series if you are new to my channel hello welcome um i have quite a few new subscribers i've noticed so thank you for joining us we are way over 300 000 now which is so exciting but this series lessons with lydia is all kind of my style tips and tricks all condensed into one playlist so you'll be able to look through that playlist to see um what else kind of i have to offer in terms of style tips let's begin with the first thing that i feel really dates your outfit and that is an all fitted look. Now, I know oversized is a really big trend at the moment, so that is one reason why this doesn't particularly work so much anymore, but I just think it's the fact that everything is fitted head to toe. It's just such a bad look. And with heels, oh, if you add heels to an all fitted outfit, it is a no go for me. I just think it's just looks so old fashioned. It looks a bit twee and I feel like all of these have outfits have that slightly twee feel and maybe that's what makes them feel dated. So I'm demonstrating the look. I actually found it, <laughs> actually found it really quite hard to um, demonstrate these looks because I don't own the pieces that I wanted to share because they're not necessarily in fashion or they don't feel very contemporary. Um, so I don't really own the looks. I just had to kind of piece them together and I'm going to be showing you older pictures as well from kind of things I've worn in the past. So this first outfit is a demonstration of the all fitted outfit with heels. So I've got these skinny jeans on, these really tall heels, which again go go towards that kind of fitted look. I think your shoes can be fitted looking as well. A tight low cut top. And then I tried to demonstrate as best I could a fitted blazer, but <laughs> I don't own a fitted blazer. All of my blazers are oversized, um, which is not gonna stand me in good stead if this trend ever changes anytime soon. Um, but a fitted blazer with this all, all fitted outfit isn't a good look. I actually had to clip in this blazer at the back to make it look more fitted so I could demonstrate this look a bit better. But yeah, I just think all together, it just feels really dated and old fashioned. And yeah, I'm gonna show you now what I would do instead to change this look. So a really simple fix for this outfit, um, I've just changed the trousers to kind of balance out the wider shoulders of this blazer. With blazers being quite structured, I always feel like they need a bit of balance on the bottom half of the outfit. So I've kept this tall skinny heels on, which balances nicely with the tighter top. So you've got the skinny and skinny, if you will. And then what you've got is the boxy and then the boxy trousers. So we've not gone for an all oversized outfit here. We've still got the fitted top and the belt cinches you in at the waist, but just those wider legs balance out the blazer a little bit better. Um, so it's again all about balance i say this all the time i've got so many tips through all my videos all about outfit balancing on my instagram as well um all my reels are very very focused on style tips 
not not actually kind of hauls or new in fashion. It's all about how you can use your own wardrobe to make it more flattering and how to style those kind of classic pieces that you probably already own. Um, and I've got so many tips about balancing proportions on there as well. It will be linked below so you can go and have a look if you don't already follow me. So yeah, going for something slightly more wide, looser, to balance out those fitted pieces is a way to make this work. Number two, this really makes me cringe and it is sticking to all one style. And so how I've demonstrated this, this isn't too dissimilar from the first um, one actually, but how I've demonstrated this is with an all feminine look. I usually find the idea and concept of sticking with all one style falls into the masculine and feminine category. Um, if you go all feminine, I think it looks a bit Ugh, it just looks very, uh, I don't know, it's just so dating. Um, but then if you go all masculine, that can be very unflattering too. So again, it's all about that balance. Um, so I've demonstrated sticking with all one style with this very feminine look. So we've got the pearls, we've got the headband, we've got the pussy bow blouse, the silk, the shorts with the pleats, um, and then the tall strappy feminine heels as well. It's all head to toe the same style and I feel like this look was probably around maybe five, maybe mm, more than five years ago, maybe more, more, 10 years ago. Uh, the very kind of feminine style and look and those short little pleated, what, what do they call them? Skater skirts, that style. Um, but that's absolutely fine and you can always wear these pieces separately but it's about how you wear them that makes them feel current and updated. For example, what I've done with this outfit um, is changed the skirt to a pair of sleek, more tailored trousers. Just feels a little bit more grown up and the trousers add a slight bit of masculinity. And it's quite interesting because when I've done something similar to this before in the past, people have said, well, there's nothing wrong with a feminine outfit. And that's absolutely true. And I I'm demonstrating this in this kind of second outfit that I've got. It's still a very feminine, delicate look with the all light tones, but you're just going away from that very kind of girly look. Um, I think that's probably a better word than feminine, girly. And it just feels a little bit more grown up and sophisticated with those wide leg trousers, but it's still feminine. You don't have to kind of go from one extreme to the other. You can create that balance and that's what it's all about. And actually you could do this look in the opposite way if you have a more masculine style shirt or a boxier, slouchier t-shirt. You could go the other way and pair this with something more feminine on the bottom. For example, if you had an oversized t-shirt quite a masculine style, not very fitted. Um, that actually looks really nice with a pencil midi skirt. I think that's such a chic, easy, elegant look. Um, and then you've got that contrast between the more feminine and masculine. So next is logo mania, uh, logo overload, too many logos and big bold statement in your face logos. Um, I think that that time has gone. This. I think this was really big. I would probably be about 21. So I'd say five years ago, it, there was a big trend for this around. The huge Gucci belts, you know the ones. Um, I've got the slimmer version, which I actually think stands the test of time a lot better, which is why I went for it at the in the first place. I actually got this. I think I maybe got this when I was 21, but I do think this belt will stand the test of time. But those huge ones, I think feel a little bit more dated now. And I think when you pile the logos on top of each other, it's just not a good look. I'm demonstrating here with my Louis Vuitton bag, my Gucci belt, and I've got some Gucci oversized sunglasses as well. All of these pieces I love separately, but when you combine them together, it just, it's too much. And yeah, I just think that is quite, a dated look, not only is it does it feel a little, a little bit showy, but um, it feels dated as well. But I'm all for a logo, don't get me wrong, but I think there's a way to do it. And the next outfit is demonstrating that. So I'm wearing here my Dior bag. I think the thing with this Dior logo is it feels quite classic. It's not very kind of like, you know, like a, a Burberry print like where it's a full kind of printed kind of logo. It's just a classic gold clasp, but just in a diff 
in the shape of the Christian Dior logo. So I don't think it's too in your face and that's what I love about this bag is that I like the gold on it, but it's not too much. But instead of pairing that with the logoed belt as well, I've just gone for a very simple belt. This one's an old one from Arquette. But just be mindful of balancing out your logo pieces and ugh, I just stay away from that look altogether. It's 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 a bad one. It's a bad one. So that's a no-go. Okay, so my last two, I'm going to demonstrate with um, some pictures because I don't actually own these pieces. Like I say, they don't feel very um, contemporary, so I don't have them in my wardrobe to demonstrate. So number four is really colorful, kind of small print florals. I think that time has kind of gone a little bit and that's not to say it won't come back. I'm sure it absolutely will. But those very bright, colorful florals, again, they were probably in about five years ago. I think trends often change and rotate on a bit of a five year roll. We're seeing this masculine oversized trend now, which I'd say has been in for maybe three years. So we tend to see them change every five years, kind of like a big change rather than um, small tweaks. We see those every year, but I think five years ago, those florals were in. Um, I had quite a few pieces when I was younger. One is like a red florally jacket that I had. And I actually still really like this piece as a jacket, but I just wouldn't wear it now it, because it feels dated. It feels done. Um, and I had quite a few floral pieces like this. I still like a pattern. I actually don't really like florals that much. Um, I prefer a paisley. If I'm going for a pattern, I'll go for a paisley. I think it's a little bit more classic. Um, I think florals you can easily go wrong with. I also don't like big, blousy kind of florals. I think that's been done. Um, and I think that just looks a little bit old fashioned now. Not to say that won't come back around again. I'm sure it will. Maybe in five years time, I'll be sitting here telling you you need to wear florals. But for now, um, I think we can leave those in the past. And that, on that note, actually, I, I suggest not getting rid of all these pieces. You may want to resell them, make room in your wardrobe, but um, sometimes it's nice to keep these pieces because they do kind of come back around after time. And then a final one, which is, again, more of a piece than a style, is those fitted boucle jackets. I think I had a couple of these and I just feel like, again, they've just been, done to death. I feel like there was a time when Zara had just a mountain stock every year for several years of this kind of jacket. Um, a lot of them kind of came collarless. The Chanel style jacket basically, but those kind of fitted ones. I personally say I prefer a more oversized style of that kind of jacket and I think there's a way to do it now. Um, but those kind of cropped, fitted, boucle style ones just feel quite dated. I think there was a time everybody was wearing those with maybe some skinny jeans. I don't know, in my head it just doesn't sit. It just doesn't sit as a good look for me. So that would probably be my kind of tip number five to avoid. Um, <laughs> and instead you could go for an oversized blazer to make your outfit feel a little bit more contemporary and updated um, for the current times. But hopefully that has been useful for you. I know so many times people maybe don't see it themselves unless it's kind of put in front of them. And I must admit it's something we don't, well, I don't actively think about until I'm doing these videos. But I think sometimes when things are put in front of you and have spelled out for you of what works, what doesn't, what feels modern um, and contemporary, um, I think that is helpful. I, well, I know it's helpful because I get comments saying it is, but I don't want it to be kind of in a negative way. <laughs> I think some people completely misinterpret these videos. But I really just want them to be in a helpful way to those who maybe feel a little bit lost um, and are looking for ways to update their wardrobe. And I hope this has been useful for you. And if it has, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, um, let me know. I'd love to know below, one, what the thing is that you think is quite a dated look if I've not already included it and two which your kind of most hated one of all of those that I've just suggested I don't know what mine is actually no number one I think the mm, number one or two the all fitted look no I just I really 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 hate that and the same with the all kind of very girly one style kind of look it's a definite no. Um, so thank you so much for watching as I say I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video Bye.